Alright guys, what is up? Do you want quality settings like this? It might look a little different due to the fact I'm rendering this as Camtasia, but do you want quality settings that are amazing? Then if yes, I have the video for you in your PVR today, so sit back and relax and enjoy. Alright, so it is holiday season, and I figured I'd give back, so... These are the best render settings you can possibly get on YouTube. I've tested over 150 different templates, methods, color corrections, you name it, I've done it. It does not get better than this. Alright, so first things first, on your Xbox or PlayStation 3, you want to make sure you are in 720p. You can do 1080i, but I definitely recommend 720p It is a whole picture and it is one frame. 1080i is two pictures and it's half the data. Just trust me on this one right here. 720p is better than 1080i. It might sound a little weird, but it is. That's just how it works. You ask anyone who has any knowledge on video and how video works, they will tell you I'm right. All right, so you wanna open up Total Media Extreme and you wanna go to your capture module. For device settings, you wanna make sure yours look like this. I have mine at default, I think but they must look like that. Now for format settings, you want to make sure it is constant bitrate. Bitrate is going to be 13.5 and constant. You don't want to use variable. You can, but if you use variable, you're going to get pixel blocking and it makes your stuff look like crap. And in the bottom left corner here, you will want to make sure it is set to PlayStation 3. And it is your choice to have preview on recording on or off, but that is what you want to make sure is set in here and you can record your gameplay. All right, now that you wanna open up Sony Vegas, when it is open, go to File, Properties, and set it to like this. Width is going to be 1280. Height, 720. Field order is going to be none. If you recorded in 720p, it is going to be none. If you did 1080i like I told you not to, you have to put it as upper field if you did 1080i. But if you did 720p, set it to none. Frame rate is going to be 29.97. Yes, the PVR records in 60 frames a second, but YouTube limits you to 29.97 at most, which is the broadcast standard. Pixel format. You want to make sure that this is on 32-bit floating point full range. This is what makes your quality outstanding. This has to be on 32-bit floating point full range. If it's not, you're going to get terrible looking video. Full resolution rendering quality is going to be best. Motion blur type, Gaussian. The interlace, I'm going to have mine on as none because we didn't record an interlaced. That is pointless having that on. But if you did 1080i, like I said, and you're completely out of your mind, then you're gonna do blend fields. Now you wanna name your template, start all new projects with these settings, save it, and apply. Now your box on the right may change. Now you want to import the footage in which you recorded. Now when it is imported, drag it to the timeline like usual. Click the top part, so the top part is highlighted. Right click properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and disable resample. It is essential that you disable the resampling. Resampling creates ghosting and motion blur, which on the web looks terrible. It makes your video look like crap, again. Okay, now you wanna crop it in and get rid of the black lines like usual. Now that you got that done, the only thing I recommend adding to the video is a sharpen. You can add color corrections if you want, but they are not necessary, and in term, they may affect your video quality. Unless you're working on a montage or a speed art of some sort, I do not recommend touching the brightness and contrast and nothing of that nature, just sharpen. Go to the sharpen, click light. Now I'm gonna edit this video down to what I want it to be. Okay, now that you have your video edited to whatever you want it to be, and you only have light sharpen on, it's time to render it. So go to file, render as. And if you're in Sony Vegas 10 or below, your render as frame is going to look a little different, don't panic. If you're in Vegas 11, it's going to look like mine. You want to select Main Concept AVC AAC MPEG-4 from the drop-down. I used to render in Windows Media Video and it was really clean looking, but I've finally perfected MPEG-4 for YouTube and I prefer MPEG-4 because it was designed for the web 
It was designed for YouTube and it handles a little bit better in the player for everyone in general. All right, so from the drop down list here in Vegas 11, you're going to select Internet HD 720p. And if you're in Vegas 10 or 9, you're going to select Main Concept AVC MPEG 4 and it's going to be Default or Apple. You just want to select the main concept. Now click Customize Template. Your resolution is going to be 720. I recommend 720. 1080p on YouTube still does not handle the best. And if you're on a PVR, I recommend 720 as well, even if you're recording 1080i, because due to the field loss, it'll make up for it and it'll look better that way. So just do 720, trust me on this. It's gonna look beautiful no matter what. All right, now profile is going to be high. That has to be set to high, otherwise again, your quality will not come out as best as it can be. And if you're in Vegas 10 or below, you're not going to have that choice, I think. It's either going to be main or baseline. I highly recommend upgrading to Vegas 11 to do this. So profile is going to be high. Frame rate 29.97. Constant bit rate. It has to be constant again. Now select 10. 14 is overkill. That is just wasting disk space. And in all technicality, YouTube compresses that video down to about 2 megabytes a second anyway. So in theory, going higher in bitrate is making your quality worse. So just do 10 megabits a second. In code mode, since I have a beastly graphics card, I'm going to be using GPU if available. And enable progressive download if you're in Vegas. 11 if you're in 10. Um, I don't think you have this option. Audio. Keep it like that. Sample rate 48,000. Bit rate 192,000. System. If you can do it. Project. Video rendering quality best. Now, some graphics cards are not compatible. And you are going to have to use CPU. If yours is not compatible, when you go to render, it'll lock up. Or it just won't render at all. So, alright. Video rendering quality again best. Click OK. Now name your template. And you can render it. So there you go, guys. Those are the best settings you can possibly get on YouTube. It does not get better than this. All right, you can go out and experiment, but I promise you in Vegas for YouTube, it just does not get better than this. I mean, I've been down to every type of quality for YouTube. I've tried arguing saying, you know, this is better, but down to the root and basics of it, MPEG-4, this quality I just showed you is the best. I've saved you a headache. Like the video down below, because I know for a fact this will help everyone out there that wants it so please spread this around to your friends if you think their quality is crap that way you're doing them and their viewers a favor and if you want to you can subscribe for future videos so thanks guys for stopping by and hope everyone who wants better quality has a better endeavor and thank you for coming by and have a great day